This question starts out by giving us a whole bunch of information about countries A and B. It tells us that these countries are going to simultaneously choose military strength to maximize the expected benefit of non-war military functions, less expected war losses, less military spending. So that sentence that I just read, we're going to call the total value of each country. Again, that was non-war military functions, less expected war losses, less military spending. So the actual question is asking us, how much does the slope of B's reaction function increase if VB increases by 200? Well, where to start? This is a tricky question. First, we want to organize all our thoughts. So we know the cost of producing military strength is equal to 10 SB squared, because now we're focused just on country B. The chance of war is 2% for both countries, which means the chance of no war is 1 minus 2%, or 98%. The value of a military without war, they told us, was 15 times the military strength, which we define military strength as SB or SA. But since we're only talking about country B right now, at 15 SB is the value of our military without a war. The value at risk if there is a war, we define as VB. Notice VB is what the question's asking us. It tells us that VB increases by 200. So VB we're going to need to use later, but it's not given to us in the question. It's left in variable form. It then tells us the fraction of VB actually destroyed if there is a war is SA multiplied by 1 minus SB. So the military strength of country A multiplied by 1 minus the military strength of country B, all multiplied by VB, well, that will tell us our expected military losses. So this is how the total value function looks. We have our benefit of non-war military functions, which is the 98% chance we don't go to war, times 15 SB, which is the value of our military without war, minus the probability that we do go to war, which is 2%, times the fraction of the value loss, lost multiplied by the value. And then, of course, minus military spending, which was 10 SB squared. Now that we have our total value function for country B, we're ready to find our reaction function. Well, first let's define what is a reaction function. A reaction function tells us the best response given the choice of the other guy. So A's reaction function would tell us A's best response given a choice from B. And we're finding B's reaction function, which tells us B's best response given any choice from A. To find a reaction function, we start with a total value function. So if we're going to find B's reaction function, we need to start with B's total value function, take the derivative with respect to SB, set it equal to 0, and solve for SB. Let's do this. Well, first we can combine like terms and make our life a little easier. And now we can take the derivative with respect to SB. We do this, and we see that it's 14.7 minus 0.02 multiplied by negative SA multiplied by VB minus 20 SB. Again, we want to solve for SB. We know we're going to set this derivative equal to 0. So we want to solve for SB. So we want to put SB on one side of the uh, equal sign with nothing with it and everything else on the other side. That will give us B's reaction function. We add 20 SB to both sides, and we divide through by 20. And we find that SB is equal to 14.7 divided by 20 plus 0.02 times SA, times VB, all divided by 20. We can simplify this a little bit. And now I've moved my SA by itself out to the right. Why did I do this? It's because SA is our variable. So everything else multiplied, the 0.02 VB divided by 20, that whole function is our slope. We're interested in finding the change in slope, so we want to isolate that by itself. The 0.735, well, that's our intercept on our axis. And that again, that 0.02 VB divided by 20, that's our slope. So with that said, we can now we can just re revisit the question, which said, how much does the slope of B's reaction function increase if VB increases by 200? So we can pick any point we want. I'm going to choose 100. It just makes things nice and round. Let's say originally VB was equal to 100. Well, let's well, and the new VB then would be 100 plus 200 or 300. So originally slope was 0.02 times 100 divided by 20, which equaled 0.1. The new slope is 0.02 times 300 
divided by 20, which equals 0.3. So the change in slope is 0.2. We know it's a positive change for a couple different reasons, mainly because these reaction functions slope up. So as VB increased, we saw that it was increasing the slope. So you could pick any numbers. 100 and 300 are just two numbers that I picked. If you picked 50 and 250, you'd get the same answer for the change in slope. You can test it out and try it, but I promise any two numbers will work as long as you're increasing VB by 200, you'll get the right answer.